today i am going to explain you about chapter reflection what is reflection when a point p reflects through a line ab the image is p dash such that the distance of p from the line ab is equal to distance of p dash from the line ab if o is a point of intersection of ab and pp dash then op is equal to op dash and also pp dash is perpendicular to ab that means ab is the perpendicular bisector of pp dash okay suppose ab is the line p is a point on the line when this point p reflects through this line ab the image is also p so the object and the image are the same here such points are said to be invariant points let me give you an example suppose the uh, this is vertical line horizontal line x dash o x y dash o y is a vertical line that is x dash o x is um, x axis y dash o y is y axis 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 100 Let me plot a point two zero. X coordinate is two, y coordinate is zero. Let me name it as A. A two zero. When this point A two zero reflects through x-axis, what happens? The image is also A two zero. So this point A is. invariant point with respect to x axis with respect to x axis let me plot another point 0 3 let me name it as b 0 3 when this point b reflects through y axis its image is also b so b is said to be an invariant point with respect to y axis now let me explain you what happens when a point reflects through x axis y axis and when a point reflects through horizon let me draw the coordinate plane x axis and y axis and explain you x dash o x y dash o y let me plot a point 3 2 x coordinate is 3 y coordinate is 2 let me name it as p 3 2 let us see what happens when this point p reflects through x axis when this point p reflects through x axis we get the image p dash whose coordinates are 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 let me plot another point 2 4 2 4 let me name it as a 2 4 when this point a reflects through x axis what happens we get the image a dash 2 minus 4 so what can we observe from this here you see p 3 2 image is 3 minus 
minus 2 when it reflects through x axis. Similarly, point A24 when it reflects through x axis, the coordinates of its image are 2 minus 4. That means when a point P, X, Y reflects through X axis, we get the image P dash whose coordinates are X minus Y. That means when a point reflects through X axis, its X coordinate remains the same and Y coordinate changes its sign. Same way, let me, let us reflect this point P through Y axis. P3 to when it reflects through y axis, we get the image here. You see this side 3, this side 3. Let me name it as P double dash. The coordinates are minus 3, 2. Same way, when this point A reflects through y axis, we get A double dash whose coordinates are minus 2, 4. What did you observe here? Here you see. 2 remains the same, here 4 y coordinates remains the same, x coordinate is changing its sign. So when a point reflects through y axis, we get the image such that its y coordinate remains the same and x coordinate changes its sign. Same way, let us see what happens. When a point reflects through horizon. When this point A reflects through horizon. What happens you see. From a, that means from O to A should be equal to from O to A triple dash. Let me take A triple dash. We will get the image here. That is A triple dash whose coordinates are minus 2, minus 4. Same way when point P through P3 to reflects through origin. We get the image here. Let me name it as P double dash. Coordinates will be minus 3, minus 2. Here we can observe that when this point A reflects through origin, it's both the coordinates change the sign. Similarly, when point P reflected through origin, it's both the coordinates change the sign. So when point P x, y reflects through origin, we get minus x, minus y. Thus we can conclude that when a point reflects through x axis, its y coordinate changes its sign. When a point reflects through y axis, its x coordinate changes its sign. When a point reflects through origin, its both the coordinates change their signs. Let me explain you one more point here. Let me plot points 3, 0, 3, 0, minus 2, 0, minus 2, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0. See all these points 3, 0, minus 2, 0, 4, 0 all lie on x axis and everywhere the y coordinate is 0. That, that means when, the, when you plot, join all these points, you get x-axis. So, the equation of x-axis is y equal to 0. Equation of x-axis is y equal to 0. Similarly, let me plot 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 3, 0, minus 3, 0, 4, 0, 4 and when we join all these points, we get y-axis. We get y-axis. That means for y-axis, all the x coordinates are 0. So the equation of y-axis is x equal to 0. So it is very easy to remember children. x-axis means y equal to 0. Y-axis means X equal to 0. When a point reflects through X-axis, Y coordinate is changing its sign. When a point reflects through Y-axis, its X coordinate is changing its sign. And when a point reflects through origin, it both the coordinates change their signs. I believe you understood this. 
and in my next video i will explain you when a point reflects through a line parallel to x axis what happens and when a point reflects through a line parallel to y axis what happens thank you